Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So it's Monday which means it is a whip and chat which I'll be honest nearly didn't happen because it is now like quarter past eleven, uh, quarter past eleven, no not quarter past eleven, quarter past seven um, in the evening and I just haven't had time to sit and diamond paint today. I've been really, really busy and I'm trying my best to try to get this way you can see it. Give me a minute guys because this is not playing ball. Thing is once you hit record on my camera it changes the aspect ratio and stuff. I think that is all right now. So let's have a look at this section, shall we? Um, I'm gonna start. I think I might actually do you first because there's a lot, and they're on this side. So I've ended up with this painting. Um, not keeping the drills in. The numerical order and I've actually put them in like order of symbol because they're mainly all the alphabet apart from the odd few uh, like percentage sign and other symbols so I thought I'm gonna make them like in alphabetical order Put them in alphabetical order and then I can find them a bit easier and I actually need some more wax in my single placer so I use the pretty placer wax the gems, that's better, so yeah I've put them in uh, alphabetical and symbol order because it's literally got the entire uppercase alphabet in this painting so it just makes it a bit easier to find but anyway you're not here to hear me chat about my diamond painting are you? Well, here to find out how I've been getting on this week. Um, okay, so to be honest, I can't even think what I need to tell you. So I'm just going to go day by day and hopefully stuff that I was wanting to tell you will jump out at me. So, um, first Monday so I was back at uni this week and on Monday I was meant to be going to the hospital um, for a consultation so I suffer from recurrent UTIs and I have for years and nobody knows why I'm getting them I've had tests done I think that they just simply you know, I'm just, I'm prone to them, which can be the case. And I do drink enough. I never used to, but I do now. But to be honest, even when I have, like, there's no correlation really when I get them to, like, days where I've not drunk as much or anything like that. But anyway, I'm on antibiotics, which um, I take quite regularly in the evening I don't have to take them all the time I only take them when I feel I need them um, and that's how they've told me to do it so it's not just me abusing antibiotics and it has subsided so I've been doing that for like several months and they did tell me that after six months they wanted you know another appointment with me just to check that everything's okay 
so I was kind of expecting it well not really because I wasn't counting uh, the months or anything but I got through like Wednesday or Thursday last week um, a letter saying you have an appointment on Monday I was like geez but I didn't register that when it said the 20th that that was literally like the Monday after so I um I didn't register it and I just kind of left it and then all of a sudden I just I was like I think I was in bed I was like hold on a minute I'm sure that I said the 20th and that's this Monday so then I think well what am I going to do because I'm at university and I don't want to miss any time um, on my course like because I might miss something important so this was like Friday evening that I realised this so I couldn't do anything over the weekend because where you meant to ring to like change appointments or whatever isn't open so I thought okay I'm gonna have to ring Monday morning like before I go into uni so I ring them and I managed to get a different appointment um, in half term which was good so at least that's sorted but I, I was late actually by like five minutes for a uni because like obviously me being on the phone that morning and stuff I, I wasn't expecting to be farting about with it for as long as I was um, so yeah I was a little bit late which is a bit naughty but my tutor knew like well at first because I, I emailed her during the weekend and she did respond um, to tell her that if I can't rearrange it I may not be in in the morning and she was like that's fine um, she understood like they've just randomly sent me this letter and I even screenshotted the letter and dated it because I thought I don't want her thinking that I've just not been proactive or anything like that like, I've literally just got the letter they've just given me really short notice so she didn't know that so I don't think she was expecting me in and then I came in anyway so I don't think she thought anything of it but anyway that was Monday Tuesday I was at Slimming World and good news guys I lost three and a half pounds this week which is really good although I do have like 50 odd pound to lose in total I don't know how this week's gonna go because I mean last week to be honest so I think Friday I had sushi for dinner and I ate like a thousand calories in sushi I even had I'd even been out and had some chips that day as well hadn't I I went to the pub and I had some chips um, with people that were on my primary placement with me because that was like the end of the week so we thought oh we'll go to the pub so I had a pint of cider and I also had some chips and I had sushi which wasn't great so did we eat out Sunday as well I can't even remember but I feel like I did and I still lost weight and this week, so I had a wrap on like Wednesday or Thursday from Subway with just like chicken in it. And then I feel like sometimes I think back to myself like what I've eaten and I just... I feel like I've not properly dieted. Do you know that feeling where you just don't think you've eaten diet foods, then you think, oh, I've not lost weight. 
because I've not strictly at diet food or like you have one bad thing and it's so toxic right I think this is why people have toxic relationships with diets because then I'm there thinking I'm not going to lose weight because I had a wrap one day oh this weekend yeah I've been basically I've run out of Cheerios which is what I have for breakfast and I've been having in the past two days I have been naughty I've had two wraps each day, two cheese wraps for my breakfast and I didn't need to have two although I did because I was starving like it didn't really fill me up and I feel like that were carbs, the carbs of that might have stopped me losing weight which will be a bit annoying but I can be back on it next week it's fine I just need to make sure I have Cheerios in. But we'll see. I have been good the rest of the week. And this is the issue. It's like still, I've probably not eaten, you know. I mean, what did I have yesterday? I had that, that was it, and then I had some chicken kebab meat from the chip shop and like the baked oven chip things that they do, it's like a health box with some mayonnaise and I reckon that will have come to about, well at max about a thousand calories, I don't even think it's that and then my cheese wrap think 500 calories max so what you know a thousand five hundred calories I've had yesterday but I still feel like really really like naughty um and my body is funny like so I probably haven't lost weight just because I've had four wraps this week no five actually I've been naughty but, yeah, there's people that will have a wrap a day for the lunch and lose weight. I don't know. We're all just different, aren't we? I just hate dieting. Because this is what I come to, like, thinking I can't eat anything that I want to eat. Like, you know, I've been really good all week. And I could have had stuff that's worse for breakfast. I could have got McDonald's. But anyway, it'll be what it'll be. I'm sure I'm complaining and... Well, we'll see what it is. Although I did get done on Tuesday because I, I turned up to Slimming World. So it's meant to start at 7. But I don't finish tutoring till 7 every other Tuesday. So that was one of them. And, um... But I thought usually they have weigh-in, like, up till, like, for half an hour. So, like, Wayne will be up till half past seven. So, I raced home, rushed home. Um, and I got there. And I did get, I got weighed, but the, the consultant came up and she was like, Alicia, just to let you know that um, weighing is open until 20 past seven. And I was like, oh, right, I'm sorry, you know. I do tutor till, you know, 7 o'clock every other Tuesday. Just thought, what a ball ache. So now I'm going to just have to message my two T's parents and just ask if they both don't mind because I reckon I'd be able to get to theirs for tutoring like maybe 20 minutes early so if they don't mind 15-20 minutes early and me showing up then I'll be able to make it for the other weeks but yeah what a pain and I've paid for a six week countdown as well. So, because with Slimming World you only get like four 
or is it six? I think it might be six holiday passes a year. So they're like where you basically say you're on holiday and then you don't have to pay for the weeks you missed. Otherwise, if you don't, if you miss a week, when you come back the next week, you have to pay for both weeks. You have to pay for the week you've missed and the current week. But I've paid for a countdown, so unless you specify your holidays up front with a countdown, if you miss a week, you just, you know, lose out, basically. You've paid for it already and missed it, and you don't get to use your holidays. So, yeah, it is a bit cultish, to be fair. I've seen all the TikToks, you know, it's like Slimming World is a cult. It genuinely is. Um, but I have friends there and, you know, it does make me think, oh, every Tuesday I've got to get weighed. Whereas when I'm at home, if I've not been good that week, I just, like, skip weighing myself. I'm like, I don't want to see the scales. And it just ends up having like a super negative effect on me. So I do need to go. But anyway. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday. What happened Wednesday? Don't really think anything. I'm trying to think. I think I just went to uni, came home and tutored and that was it. Um, Thursday we had a mortgage appointment with, well, a mortgage advisor appointment to sort out like life insurance and home insurance and all that sort of fun stuff. But I haven't actually told you what's been going on with the mortgage. It's not great because basically our house has been valued the house we're buying um by the mortgage lender ten thousand pounds less than what we're buying it for which was you know the price that it had been valued at by the estate agent um we paid asking price but that basically means if you want to stay with that lender they've done it because they've not gone out to the house and because it's a new sort of build area there's no data on houses um being sold around there because they're they're new and there hasn't really been any you know, apart from when they were first sold in like 2017, there hasn't been any like data on other sales. So they've got nothing to go off of and usually they just do that for the valuation. Like they don't have people coming out and properly valuing it. They just do that. So because of that, they valued it 10 grand less, even though the house is worth more really but it means that they're not willing to do us a 90% mortgage so I'm not really certain how it all works out but our mortgage advisor you know what she's there for she's like run it and basically said we'd have to do a 95% mortgage um think what happens is that means essentially we say that the house is valued at 170,000 so then we still borrow the money we need the 162,000 um cuz we've got an 18,000 pound deposit And then we also, so like we all give 10,000 of that to, I don't know, 
I don't really know what's going off, but. It just means that basically with a 95% mortgage, we, um, we have to pay higher interest rates and that's the issue. It means we end up paying like £70 a month extra. So she's on holiday at the moment but she is going to be looking if there's any other lenders that will accept my base income and you know value the prop. so either there's two options either we can find a lender that will value the property at the correct amount and then we can do it on a 10 percent or she can just find a lender that will do as a five percent mortgage um for a lower interest so there's a couple of options I mean it's not the end of the world I've tried to say to James you know if we have to take like we have to pay that a month we have to pay that a month it's just simple like, it's not really something we can help it's just it's tough um, just annoying because we were told one amount and then now it's a different amount but that's life so we would pay it but we'll see if we can get it any cheaper first but apart from that the house you know everything's with the solicitors now in terms of getting the the deal closed getting the exchange of contracts and stuff getting a date all that Malart when we can exchange houses and whatever or exchange keys or whatever it's called I don't know the terminology so that'll be very fun when that happens and we can actually say it's ours like legally um so yeah that was Thursday I also went to Zumba on Thursday. Oh, and it was my cousin's prom. So I quickly went round before the mortgage appointment to see Charlotte and to see her in a dress. And she looked very pretty. And I didn't stay. I literally, because she just... She told me to come round at like five, but the mortgage appointment was five. So I came round at like 20 past four. And I was like, I can only really stay for like 20 minutes. But she wasn't there. She was finishing up getting her makeup done at the salon. So she came back and I literally saw her for 10 minutes. But it was all right. I, I don't... I still saw her. Do you know what I mean? In a dress and I hope to like put on a boob tape. <laughs> she had like tape to keep her dress. Um... My memory card saved. Um, yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, it's like a massive shot to the system when you've not danced for a while and then you you start back up. But it was really enjoyable and I felt really energised from it after I got over the whole I'm knackered. So I did that Friday. Oh, okay, so Friday was irritating because I was meant to be going to have, like, my contact lenses fitted at the opticians. And basically... It was for four o'clock my appointment and I knew it would be tight coming out of uni but I was hoping like I would get there bang on time and originally I should have been but you know traffic can change in a heartbeat and I ended up being stuck in some bad traffic and 
it ended up being like I was like 10 minutes late but I did think to myself I was like okay you know they don't mess around with appointments maybe I just need to phone him I'll tell them that I'll be 10 minutes late they'll either say well we can't wait that long or you know we'll wait but if they say oh we can't wait that long it's no worries because I just don't need to drive there I can just go straight home so I made sure I phoned them when I was like on the motorway and before I like got to the junction where I would need to come off. Like and by before I mean I phoned them a long time before that. Like once I was back in normal traffic so I knew it wouldn't be any more than 10 minutes. Anyway so I phoned up and I didn't get any answer whatsoever. Um, it just had me ringing so I went in a queue they just weren't answering the phone so anyway I thought I'm going to have to go because maybe I will get seen like they're not getting in contact with me I can't get in contact with them so I just need to go and I mean I was a bit naughty I thought to myself do you know what I could lie and I could say that I thought my appointment was half past and I got told it was half past because if I say oh they told me it was half past I thought that's then not really my fault I mean I could have turned around and told them that you know I knew I was late and I was trying to phone them to let them know but I don't know some part of me thought that actually saying I thought my appointment was half past because they told me half past would have got me still seen. Which in all honesty, let's just think about this right now. This has happened to me before. I haven't just made this up. I have had this with an appointment before where I got told a time and then they put it in the system at a different time. It happened at a hospital appointment hours. I literally on the phone, I remember she said to me, oh we've got 10 or half 11 half 12 and I said can I take 10 please and she's like yeah all booked in for 10 and then actually booked me in for half past 12 and I got there and nobody told me apart from they went oh you're a little bit early so you can either go around the hospital or I can um if you do want to just sit and wait I can just book you in and we're like we're thinking because we were a little bit early but like 10 minutes early so we're like, yeah, we'll just sit and wait. Anyway, it got like to that 20 past 10, my nana goes up and asks, like, her appointment was 10, you know, how long is it going to be? And they're like, oh no, her appointment's not till half past 12. And I'm like, no, I definitely said on the phone I wanted the 10 o'clock appointment and we agreed to the 10 o'clock appointment. So that does happen, right? So I just thought, let's be real here. If I showed up at half, at like 10 past 4, I said, I thought my, and if they questioned it, I said, oh, I thought my appointment was half past 4, they told me half past 4, then that's kind of like their fault and, you know, if something was their fault, they should like try and fit you in, you know? Um, I mean, they were in the wrong anyway because literally I thought because nobody was answering the phones I thought it was going to be dead like hardly anybody there working and they'd be rushed off the feet but typical spec savers you literally go in and there's like eight or nine women just stood around having a natter and literally a natter like I could hear what they were talking about and they'll just look at you like oh somebody's come in to just pause our conversation um, apologies if you work in spec savers, I'm sure it's not all spec savers, but the one I go to, that is so what they're like, and they do it all the time. Like I once went in with my nana, who has like a Zimmer frame, and you have to go up the stairs, and that's fine, you know, and we, I took a Zimmer frame and I was carrying it up, but I was struggling a little bit, right, and they literally stood at the top of the stairs staring at us just talking 
and I even you know I complained about that I emailed him and I said I'm not happy I cut myself I hurt myself I could have just done with an extra pair of hands like my nana couldn't help me she had all on trying to hobble up the stairs like and there was a man and I'm like he could have just come and helped so they are useless as spec savers so they clearly just weren't answering the phone because they couldn't be asked. And if they'd have answered the phone, I wouldn't have showed up. And I could have gone home and I could have saved myself like three quids parking and the petrol to get there. But no, they didn't. So I thought, I'm lying about it. Bit naughty of me, but, you know, they deserve it. <laughs> in a way um but anyway so i said just pretend i'm telling the truth right now because it is rude um so i said well you know i got told my appointment was half past four because originally they came and said um can you do four and i said i can't do four the earliest i could do is like quarter past and she was like oh well we don't even have like half past appointments now this is the bit that i can't get my head around so she said we don't even have half past appointments, right? She said the last ones we do is four o'clock appointments. But when I was there, she said, well, the contact lens woman has taken her last patient in. But if my appointment was four o'clock, then wouldn't I have been the last patient? if I was there so how's that work out so you must have had an appointment after four you know stuff like that don't make sense but anyway so I kind of like just sighed and she's like we're gonna have to rebook it and I was just like basically like well it's just really annoying because I didn't have to come all the way here. Like, I've just came straight from work. Oh no, my camera battery's going to die. So anyway, the point is, it got rebooked for next Saturday, I think. And this weekend, I've done absolutely nothing. So, that was a really dodgy end, but my camera is literally about to die. So, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and of course watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.